Gina Jessen. I'm the National Manager of Oceans and Great Freshwater Lakes for the Canadian Parks and Wilderness Society. And we are here in Toronto as part of the fourth stop on a seven city national oceans tour called Dare to be Deep, trying to promote uh, ocean conservation in Canada and to inspire Canadians to do more about ocean conservation by telling them about this uh, wonderful example of the Guayanas National Marine Conservation Area Haida Heritage Site. Ancestors Haida Dance Group to tour with us to share Haida culture through their ceremony of songs and dance and stories, um, highlighting that interconnection between the land, the sea, and the people of Haida Gwaii and how that all comes together in Guayanas. <laughs> idea of a national tour and we, we felt it was a good opportunity to take advantage of to spread the message about Guayanas marine conservation area and to really emphasize the Haida role in the establishment of Guayanas and how important it is to reaffirm that connection between the, the people in the area and that we're not we're not standing on the sidelines in the negotiating and the establishment but also in the use and participation within the area so we're really a part of the ecosystem, we're a part of the environment, and we want to make sure that people are aware that we're still alive and we're still doing uh, many of the same things our ancestors had, but at the same time that we're uh, progressive people who are living in the 21st century as well. by the Lieutenant Governor of um, British Columbia. We had cabinet ministers and 180 people in the audience. And we went from there to Calgary. And we've just come to Toronto from Ottawa where we did two events, a public event, as well as an event with uh, members of parliament and uh, the Senate and other uh, invited guests. So we're on quite a high now um, for the rest of the tour. We've just done these two phenomenal events here down at the TSX in Toronto. And we uh, leave tomorrow for Montreal. And we still have after that St. John's and Halifax. We're very excited about uh, Montreal because we have a, um, a delegation of 15 Cree from James Bay coming to meet with us while we're at, in Montreal. And they are very interested in having a, something similar to Guayanas in their traditional territory. And they have been promoting the idea of a national marine conservation area called Dawich. And they've been working with people at Concordia and McGill University. So um, that should be a very interesting gathering between the Haida and the Cree and everyone else. So we're very excited about that. And we're really hoping this might help launch that NMCA. marine conservation areas like Guayanas, like in the Guayanas model that we've been trying to promote for a while um, through the CPAWS network. One off the south coast of Newfoundland where local communities there would like one in an area called the South Coast Fjords and also in the Bay of Fundy, such an important area in Nova Scotia and we, we're promoting sort of better conservation of the marine environment in the Bay of Fundy. 
here in Ontario, we would really like to see a network of protected areas in the Great Lakes. And that still needs quite a bit of work. And in BC and British Columbia, we're, we're advancing a number of different sites. Uh, two other national marine conservation areas, one in the southern strait of Georgia. There are about 18 First Nations in that area. And there's one um, that we'd like to see established on the west coast of Vancouver Island, working with the Nuchalna First Nations. And there we see an opportunity to do an international marine peace park because we could link this new marine protected area with the um, Olympic Coast National Marine Sanctuary off Washington State because it goes right up to the Canadian border. And if we could get a National Marine Conservation Area and link those two together, we could manage and protect a phenomenal ecosystem off the west coast of Canada. So that will, those are some of the things we are hoping through the tour to inspire greater action on. Um, by giving this example of a success story and especially to focusing on the role of First Nations, the important role of First Nations and how they, we can all benefit by the kinds of partnerships that have developed around Waihanas. Thank you. 